finding and using images on your website. In an ideal world, I would always recommend that you take and use your own photos for your own website. If that's not possible, Unsplash is a great alternative. But always carefully read the licensing information before you use any images. This is a licensing page from Unsplash. If you do use Unsplash, consider linking back to the photographer's page on Unsplash as a thank you for the time and effort they took to provide the images for you to use. Finding and downloading images on Unsplash. You will need to browse for and find the images you need, choose the correct aspect ratio, download the right image size, get the link to the photographer's page on Unsplash, in case you want to link back to that page as a thank you. Finding photos. This is the way I search for photos on Unsplash. First, I type one or two words into the search box. I found this works better than using a long search string. I also select an aspect ratio for the image. I could have landscape, portrait or square. If I don't care what shape the image is, I keep the default setting, which is any orientation. After searching, I scroll through the photos that display on my search query. If I want to refine my search, I click one of the categories at the top of the page, or one of the tags below the individual photos. When I find a photo I want to download, I click the image once. The image opens in a pop-up screen. I click the down arrow, it's in the green button in the top right corner of the screen. This list lets me choose what size image I want to download. Smaller images make your web page load faster, but if the image is too small for the space that it takes up on your web page, the image will look blurry or pixelated. For hero header images, or images that span the full width of my screen, I use the medium or large image size. For smaller images that only occupy a small amount of space on my page, I use the small image size. You can download images at their original size, but only do that if you know how to optimise the images by reducing their file size. The original image size is usually far too big to upload directly to your web pages. If you want to get a link so that you can link back as a thank you to the photographer, click the share button and copy the link URL. Another alternative is to click the link in the top left corner of the pop-up screen, then copy the URL in the address bar. You now have the images you need. In another video, I'll show you how to add them to your web pages. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.